The city's response to the water crisis has drawn some criticism. Governor Tate Reeves even hinting at the state taking over the city of Jackson's water system. 16 WAPT's Ross Adams joining us live from downtown Jackson with reaction to that tonight, Ross. It's a big deal because state office buildings all across the capital city have been affected by the water crisis. In fact, the state health department will be closed Thursday for a third straight day. Nevertheless, the governor's suggestion leaving a bad taste in the mouths of some Jackson leaders. Monday, City Councilman Ashby Foote urged the mayor to call in the National Guard to help thousands suffering through Jackson's water crisis. To make sure that our citizens don't run out of food and they don't run out of water too. You know, we, we need a bigger boat, as they said in Jaws. We are the Calvary, right? We are the ones that have to rescue ourselves until they come, right? The Calvary has arrived. The governor called in the National Guard to distribute water, and the governor hinted the state could take over Jackson's water system. Perhaps we should. Perhaps we ought to look at things uh, to see what happens going forward. I think it's something that I would not support right now. I think that what I would support right now contractors coming in and they're fixing this. State Representative Chris Bell says a state takeover is a bad idea. The state has no business in dealing with the water system or trying to take over a water system. State government can't escape the water problems. Huge state office buildings downtown and around the city have little to no water. The state health department on Woodrow Wilson Avenue was forced to close Tuesday because it had no water. Um, it is certainly uh, n has not been uh, easy to operate state government because of the lack of water uh, over the last um, several days uh, and we recognize that to be a challenge. His best efforts would be in finding ways to support the city of Jackson and other communities surrounding here who have had to deal with this hard freeze. And now, city leaders say it could take a billion dollars, maybe even more, to fix the city's aging water system. That, of course, would take a combination of state, local, and federal dollars to get all that done. Live in downtown Jackson, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.